With the ever dangerous and mysterious mimic, more and more information about its origins and motivations have been revealed over time through not only the ruined DLC, but also the tales of the Pizza Place books. However, after revisiting one of my favorite theories, I had an interesting idea for another potential motive for how the mimic Endo was brought to the Pizza Place construction site. In the tale from the Pizza Place epilogues, we learned that after discovering both the sinkhole and the ruins of the Pizza Place underneath the construction zone, Fathom Entertainment was planning on renovating the dilapidated pizzeria and turning it into a museum for guests, something we later see them accomplish in Rockstar Road. This combined with the various shells we see in the Tangle and the recent knowledge that the Vanity Network extends to the Pizza Place made me theorize that Fazbear Entertainment was possibly going to use the animatronics in the Fazbear Funtime service within the Pizza Place. With these animatronics being left behind after the Mimic incident, it would eventually be used within the Tangle. Within the epilogues, we see the teenagers doing their best to outsmart and survive the brutal Mimic but then exploring the pizza place and discovering more about the murderous Endo's capabilities. During one of these explorations, the teens find an old menu from the Mimic line of Endos, learning that the mimics were created to watch show routines and mimic them, so Fazbear didn't have to program set routines step by step. However, these lines of Endos would eventually be shut down after they started mimicking something problematic, with Edwin's mimic being the only one left. During FNAF AR, we see several emails that show the story of the Fazbear Funtime service and how both Vanny and the Mimic One virus infiltrated the service. During a senior of these emails, we see the service scan the Mimic One circuit boards. Like you saw at the AR animatronics can have the same show routines from the past, releasing gross traffic to the computer systems. This would not only make the animatronics go hostile and murderous towards customers, but also cause their behavior and personalities to change, evident by the email we see for the various holiday animatronics like Easter Bonnie. With this in mind, my theory is that after finding the pizza place, the company would use the Fazbear Funtime service to supply replicas of the classic animatronics, planning to use them to make the museum experience more authentic. In order to expedite the massive amount of coding they would have to do for the ant robots, as well as being unaware of them stopping the process once before, which is likely being Edwin's doing, Fazbear Entertainment would deliver the mimic to the still in construction pizza place, with the company planning to use the circuit boards within the AR animatronics coding. However, after the Mimic Massacre, they abandoned both the animatronics, the Mimic, and the pizza place, sealing everything away from prying eyes and instead using the circuit boards for a storyteller true project. 